I didn't get into making videos and learning how to hold a camera just so I could spend the rest of my career using my camera sideways. I know I spend a lot of time putting out videos on social media, but I am tired of having to hide the videos that I do for my clients and the videos that I shoot for myself at the way that they were supposed to be seen. I really feel like I am doing an injustice to the world by only sharing videos on social media. So from now on, I'm gonna be posting a little bit more content on YouTube and Facebook and just horizontal way because I feel like the videos that I spend all this time making and composing deserve to be seen in the way that they were shot. I'm really excited about this because you know for the longest time like this right here is what I've been doing in videos. I've been taking this entire beautiful shot and just like condensing it down to like just this narrow window. And don't get me wrong, social media has a time and a place. There is a great way to use short form content to just reach a ton of people without having to do a whole ton of effort. The videos are a lot shorter, you can get them done a lot quicker, but at the end of the day, they don't allow you to go in depth and they don't allow the people that you're speaking to to get a chance to really sit with you and feel what it's like to be in your presence for an extended period of time. I feel like one thing that people need to understand when they're making videos to build their brand and to get their message out there is the difference between short form content and long form content. Short form content is good little bite sized pieces that attract your viewers and attract just new people onto your feeds and get people curious about you. It's a good way to give out quick advice, quick tips, a little behind the scenes, entertaining content, all that that kind of stuff but long form content if you haven't already thought about implementing this into your strategy is where you can really get into the details of the different subjects that maybe you touched on in some of your short form content maybe somebody like a product or whatever it was that you were going over maybe you're working on a big project for some campaign or something and people want to know more details about it but they don't want to learn about it in 30 second increments this is your chance to really sit down and get into the nitty gritty because if somebody is interested enough in learning more about you and your service and your brand and what it is you have to offer, chances are they're gonna to wanna to watch a longer video of you explaining these things in a less clickbaity, engagey type of way. Think about long form as how you nurture the audience that you've attracted with your short form content. I am a storyteller. I'm learning to grow with my content and I'm a composer of visual images. I want to show people beautiful things and I feel sometimes restricted with social media and being able to do that. So I'm excited to be putting out longer videos on YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn where I get to actually show people the full width of the shots that I've created and to also go a little bit more in detail about some of the stuff that I'm learning and sharing with the clients that I'm working with and people that I want to know and help grow their brand. So yeah, super excited because now we're going from this to this. Stay tuned guys and I'll see you on the next one.